Welcome back, schoolmates! Last but not the least, and dito na tayo sa ating trendsetter number three, Kauri! <laughs> Kauri, for sure. Are you also a student leader? Um, no. Yes po. Um, actually, I am a current secretary of Science Club, but also I was uh, a senator, the majority floor leader of the student government last academic year. Wow! Yes. Oh, so, Senator Kauri, na cancel ka na ba? Um, I'm really not sure if it's cancelled because I think when you are part of a government, it is a check and balance. That's right. So, parang yung cancel culture kasi is about boycotting. I'm not yet sure if, in my perspective if I am cancelled in that way. Okay. Puntahan natin yung premise na yan, no? Ang cancel culture sana ay pagkakaroon ng checks and balances, lalo sa mga public personalities, public figures, no? Pero hindi natin makakaila, Kaori, na nagkakaroon ng mob mentality, eh. Na i-cancel natin yan, i-criticize natin yan, naging bandwago na lang without due process or proper evidence. So, para sa iba, ang cancel culture, mas naglilid lang ito sa cyberbullying or online harassment? Uh, first, I'm not up for cancel culture, but in relation with cyberbullying, uh, based on my research and, and the society also on my um, observation, cyberbullying is also inclined with cancel culture. Why? Because because of what you've mentioned, uh, bandwagon, especially to those people who participate cancel culture without really knowing what the con context is. So, sige, uh, babash kita, ganyan, ganyan. So, and with that, kasi online eh, so by definition, bullying is harming or causing, uh, harming the uh, emotion, the mental mental capability or the physical of a student or a certain person. In which, if it is done online, it is called cyberbullying. Mm -hmm. So, kaya for me, inclined siya kasi usually cancel culture really is in the platform of social media. Okay. Nabanggit kanina ni Charles and ni Josiah yung tingin nilang tamang paraan kung paano mag-call out or mag-correct ng mga personalities. Pero, eto, tanong ko sa'yo, Kauri, paano kung bingi talaga yung personalidad? Kinall out mo na, samakay sa tumamaraan, in-educate mo na with compassion, with empathy, with the right intent. Kung hindi pa rin nakikinig, bingi pa rin, anong pwedeng gawin? I think this comes with you not trusting that person again with a certain responsibility. But is that, a, is that, that's really exactly what cancel culture is? Ika-cancel na lang natin. No, uh, cancel culture is you need to boycott that certain person ah. in a certain issue or okay. a certain aspect. But what I am saying is if you really want to focus on that certain issue, that certain platform na sa tingin mo hindi sila nakikinig, then ibig sabihin hindi sila fit doon sa criteria na ini-embody ng position na yon or ng situation na yon. So yet, uh, ibig sabihin nun, we need to find people also na uh, mag-come up sa magiging mas fit sila for the position. Kasi pag boycotting, ibig sabihin you're not going to give them opportunities. Let's uh, criticize if where would they fit, where would they be better, or if they are going to be open on uh, better for the betterment of themselves. If All they right. see that they are being better, then that's the time na we can say that we can trust her or him if he changed. But wala kasi tayo magagawa kung gusto nang uh, sasabihin natin ng isang tao, mag-suggest tayo sa kanya to rationalize situations or you know the office they hold or whatever situation platform kung bingi talaga sila then there are all, there are other people na mas better sa kanila. Okay. Anong masasabi ng ating reactors, Gina? Okay, so Gab, uh, to clarify lang, for the cancel ba siya or hindi? Um, oh, canceled. for the cancel ka ba ng cancel culture? Yes, cancel, for the cancel. cancel ako for, for the cancel, cancel culture. For the cancel culture, sabi ni Kaori, na ating trendsetter for today. Ano ang inyong comment or reaction? Hard. So Gab, medyo ano, no, confusing lang kanina kasi um, kanina, meron silang mga iba't ibang reaction Ngayon, nagkasundo-sundo na sila. So, bakit kaya, Adrian? Kasi, um, kahit siguro sa uh, we're living in social media, lalo na mga nangyari ng pandemic, dapat, ano pa rin, harmonize pa rin. Dapat nag maayos, ganyan. Kung nag-cyberbullying kasi is very wrong, I mean, hindi siya dapat i-tolerate and dapat for the cancel talaga siya. And maganda nga yung sinasabi niya ni Kaori na dapat ini parang aware tayo na nakakasakit na tayo ng that's enough at hindi siya dapat i-pursue na nanggaganan tayo ng 
isa, isang tao. Kaya nga, we all know na meron tayong, nagtitake tayo ng MIL, yung Media Information and Literacy in Senior High, para ma-aware tayo kung paano ba talaga yung tamang paggamit ng social media. So, nandun na tayo guys sa premise na we are against bullying and harassment offline and online. Pero ito gusto marinig sa mga reactors natin. Paan, balik tayo sa cancel culture, no? Paano kung ang isang personalidad niya, ginawa mo na lahat ng alternatives ng tamang pag-call out, pero bingi pa rin. Bingi pa rin sa pag-correct sa mga pagkakamali niya. Usapin na ng social justice, halimbawa, ng social change. Meron siyang posisyon na hinahawakan, napaka-importanting posisyon. Kung hindi cancel culture, ano ang dapat gawin? Like what Ate Kauri said po, na uh, it is like, like cancel culture is almost inclined uh, inclined with cyber i uh, cyberbullying is inclined with cancel culture so in a way na kunyari i have someone i like which is not listening to his or her supporter tapos he's he or she they are still doing some horrible acts na nakaka-offend sa iba i think it is safe to say that we should stop supporting them but not in a way that we are gonna attack them personally kasi like what I said it is cyberbullying when we started when we people are start are engaging in acts like bullying them personally just because they did something wrong and yet in addition to that na hindi dapat tayo yung mga tipong tao na kapag ano talagang hindi nakikinig yung mga nagakamali sa mga ginagawa nila Um, hindi dapat tayo yung nagsisimula ng disarray sa kanila na o oh, sige kasi ano hindi naman siya nakikinig tara ano na natin patumbahin na natin hindi dapat ganun yung <laughs> ano yung mentality pero in a, in a sense na tama yung sinabi ni Miko na ano na stop supporting whatever he or she does para ma-realize niya at para matatak din sa isip niya na whatever he or she may be doing that's already getting out of hand at dapat hindi na siya bigyan ng platforma pa para mapahayag kung ano sinasabi niya lalo na puro mali lang yung ina-advocate niya. Well, I I thought uh, you guys agreed kanina kay Josiah na translator natin na dapat openly communicate. So how would you openly communicate with someone if you're just gonna leave them out of something na ginawa nila just to make them aware na may ginawa silang bad? Kasi parang ang bottom line is withdrawal of support. Yeah. ba diba? Pero not to the point of cancelling them. I agreed with Kuya Josaya when it comes to calling out people. That's what we were conversating about earlier, bro. Kasi na actually gusto namin itanong, is it still cancel culture? Kasi nga ini-incline namin siya with cyberbullying and attacking someone personally. Tapos, we should call it, we should call it call out culture instead kasi para man lang we can lessen fear na oh my god baka mabully ako kasi I did something wrong instead of ah oh, okay ina-educate nila ako because I did something wrong good good so good, good. okay okay um Kauri eto pare-pares tayo ng opinion na ang cancel culture ay isang trend na nagpo-promote ng hindi constructive na kritisismo pero destructive especially online no eto Kauri, para sa'yo, call-out culture ang mas acceptable na term para sa atin. Ang call-out culture ba ay magpo-promote ng unity na pinopromote na ating administrasyon o mas madi-divide pa ang ating bansa? Call-out culture, ah. Um, in terms of call-out culture, naturally, cancel culture by nature in early 2000s, it is really call-out culture. But it is then and 2010 until up now that it is made as cancel culture. So call out culture is really about for the betterment of a of a certain people, and it is for dialogue, right? But cancel culture is different. So if I will be telling, ah, kung magiging unit iba, call out culture ang platform. So hindi siya cancel culture. Yes, yes. Kung call out call out culture, I think yes. It can be a form of unity. Uh, why? Because when we promote criticisms, critical, criti um, constructive criticisms, dialogues, then that will be the time where we can say we, che we can check and balance. We can say, ah, uh, maybe we need to twist this. Maybe we need to put something like this. Ah, uh, because when we say unite, there are no clusters. So ibig sabihin lahat ng tao sa Pilipinas is meron silang isang gustong sabihin. Mm -hmm. isang, isang gustong marating. And that is 
uh, depending on the people of the state. So okay. it still promotes unity, mm -hmm. call-out culture. Yes. Considering that we all have different opinions, yun ay importante sa isang democratic country. Yes, kasi okay. naturally, uh, if there are no check and balances, ibig sabihin, there are no progress. Right. There are no um, growth, kasi change and discussion promotes growth because we can be better, better ourselves, better our economy, society, and the state, which is Philippines. Good job, Kaori. Hey, gets ka namin, Kaori, pero gets ka ba ng ating live audience? Pakiting, pakitaas nga kung like or dislike. Someone raise his hand. Sige. Wow. Oh, yun, yun. Ay, what's your name po? What's your name? Uh, so, my name is Emmanuel Tina Ratisagan uh, from STEM 11 to AM. Uh, I have this one question that, com that comes up to my mind. Uh, it is about what if uh, you correct a person kasi mali po siya. And that thing is, nakinig siya sa sinabi mo, but uh, ang ginawa niya is mali pa din. Like, nakinig siya sa sinabi mo, pero yung, inulit niya yung uh, kasalanan niya ulit. Mm. Na simple words. So, just to clarify, uh, mali yung ginawa niya, tapos sinabi ko may better solution ako para sa kanya. Nakinig siya, but nakinig lang siya. So, hindi niya, niya practice yung what I advise him to do. Yes. Right? Uh, that will be difficult because it is still up to the person kung paano sila mag -a Because we are the only ones who can project on what solutions, actions we can do. But the thing is, syempre kung ganun, uh, sasabihin na natin siya na bakit ganun? Uh, magkakaroon ulit ng dialogues na baka hindi nga naintindihan na mabuti. That's, uh, that's another problem in the society because we listen but do we understand the sentiments that the people are trying to portray to us the people that try to understand us so kailangan sa society na the way that we listen is also should also comes understanding understanding of what really is the product or solution that we try to suggest to people so na answer ba ang question mo ah uh, yes po i am uh, dearly satisfied Wow, yeah. Okay, yan na narinig na natin. Narinig na natin ang komento ng ating live audience. Sakita naman natin na bet na bet nila ang statements ng ating reactors at ng ating trendsetter na si Kauri for our, uh, for the cancel ba ang cancel culture or hindi. Um, ngayon naman iniimbitahan ko ang ating mga audience sa kaniya-kaniyang tahanan. Mga schoolmates, please do not forget na mag-subscribe and follow sa ating mga social media accounts at mag-comment sa ating comment section para namang makagawa rin kayo ng sarili niyong diskusyon patungkol sa issue na ito. At sa punto ito, schoolmates, Gina, muli nating makakasama ang ating mga trendsetters para sa kanilang last statement. Guys, for the cancelled ba ang cancel culture? Charts. Yes na yes. Lagi yung tatandaan ka ba nakikita niyo ako by P, be teachable, you understand the world, and lastly, why is it you? Maging liwanag sa dili. Oy. Uh, for Larry. me also, uh, for the cancel and cancel culture, because by nature, it is to produce betterment in the society. And by means of betterment, we, it, not, it doesn't mean na we will boycott or harm others or uh, bully them, but we should promote professionalism dialogue for us to be able to help society by practicing good norms. Alright. And Josiah? Well, hindi natin nagka-cancel ang cancel culture because ang cancel culture ang ating check and balance sa ating society. So make sure na if you want to share something on, our, on your account, on your social media, make sure that you are accountable about it. So kaya naman sa lahat ng mga nag-grade 2 at hindi 2 MB ang utak, let's not cancel, cancel culture. Yan! At dahil sa na-survive ng ating tatlong trendsetters for today, ang hot seat at sila'y nakapag-share sa atin ng mga makabuluhang opinion at suwesyon nila regarding sa issue natin, sila ay isang official na trendsetter dito sa National, National Teachers, Teachers College! College. At syempre, Gina! Guys, pasalamatan din natin ang ating mga reactors dahil talaga namang for the react sila at congratulations sa ating 
Live audience, maraming salamat guys! Ayan. So, Gina, para sa'yo, for the cancelled ba ang cancel culture? Yes naman, for... Uh, for the cancel ang cancel culture. Kasi nga, uh, dito natin natutunan na himay yung mga ano, eh, terminolohiya. Yes! Yung mga terms oh. uh, na kailangan maintindihan ng ating mga kabataan, ng ating mga schoolmates sa kanika nilang tahanan. Yes. So, ako naman, dito sa ating bagong format at sa ating conversation, no, nakikita natin yung beauty at yung ugly side ng social media. Exactly. Yes, nagiging accessible na ang information. Yes, nagiging accessible na mga personalidad ng public figures, pero pwede rin siyang maging grounds for misinformation. Pwede siyang maging grounds for chaos, di ba? Kaya tama yung sinabi ng ating mga trendsetters and reactors, may karapatan tayo schoolmates na magpahayag ng ating opinion, ng ating expression, pero wala tayong karapatang maging irresponsable, especially sa social media. So, sa ating mga public figures naman, we are also accountable to our supporters, kung tayo man ay ma-call out, kung tayo ay ma-cancel, parte yan ng pagiging isang public figure. We are accountable to give messages and statements na nakabase sa datos, sa kasaysayan, at sa tamang impormasyon. No? Pero again, to all of us schoolmates, let's stay vigilant, maging critical tayo sa lahat ng nababasa at nasasagap nating impormasyon, online man o offline. Tsaka uh, dagdag ko lang sa sinabi mo, Gab, na parang kahit malaki or malit ka mang tao, in your everyday living, kailangan mo pa rin maging handa sa kung ano mang klase ng call-out ang mararanasan mo sa iyong buhay. At maging responsible sa mga taong nakapaligid sa atin. Be sensitive enough. And also, amin lang nililinaw na ang lahat ng opinion, lahat ng session, lahat ng views ng ating reactors, trendsetters, and hosts, ay hindi namin, hindi kami nagdidikta kung tama or mali ang isang issue. Nais lang namin magbahagi at may share ito para mas magkaroon pa ng kaalaman ng ating mga schoolmates. And with that, it's about issues about usapin, my bosses, ang kabataan. Sumali, makinig at makiisa dahil opinion nyo ay mahalaga. Kaya naman sabay-sabay nating isigaw sa buong mundo, Schoolmates! May pakailang ka! Isigaw ang pinigaw!